Capturing their voice for this community is really important to us. They're not being asked enough and uh, we want the community to know how people who are actually growing up in this community feel about the gun violence that they experience on a daily level. We're not really asking them those questions and what they think the solutions are. And so uh, we think system dynamics and community-based system dynamics really, uh, this idea that you go to the people who are stakeholders in this issue and asking them to build and create models that really capture this idea of what is the structure behind the system that creates the behavior that we see and where are the places of leverage where we can affect it. Like my ideas come from what I experienced. I lost two cousins towards it, like they got shot and killed right next to me. So, and uh, my brother has died from gun violence and then I have a cousin that was recently shot this past weekend. I think if I can voice my opinion about it and like let other people hear it, and then I feel that we can go somewhere and take a stand for it. About two years ago, my brother actually was killed by a police officer. Um, Michael Brown, of course. Referring back to gun violence, I will only think of it in police brutality. But just to be around a lot of different people and to hear their experiences and how they relate to gun violence, you know, it's just more to life. System dynamics is a formal method of maps and modeling uh, that takes um, variables that may cause one another and really tries to understand the system behavior and the structure behind why behaviors occur. So underlying every behavior of a pattern in, in the world is some sort of system. And so system dynamics tries to understand that. Um, when you hear gun violence, it's naive. Like you just kind of blink out and you think of a person with a gun. And when you go to the system dynamics and you kind of learn there's roots why people put a gun into their hands and fire. There's a lot of people from law enforcement, um, community organizations, and various professors that are working on this issue that will come and hear what do the youth actually have to say about this issue. Can community-based system dynamics be used with youth in an effective way? Can they really be the solver of their own problems in some sense? And can we empower them enough um, through various structures like WashU, through the Brown School? Can we help them to be able to do what they need to do to um, be activists in their community?